Now we're going to look at the profile of a grower. So if I found a grower that's near me that I wanted to go see, I would touch the pin for that grower. And it's going to show me, first of all, the distance they are from my current location. So in this case, I'm 54.1 miles away from Lewis Scherf's farm place. The other thing that you'll see is their address. So right in the middle, you can see the address to where, they, where their farm place is. If I touch that address, it's going to bring me to my maps app or whatever gps app you have in in your in your phone and you can go touch the directions there and it'll bring you right to his farm i'm going to go back to the app and what i'm going to do is view his profile because i want to see a little bit more information besides just the address so when i touch on view profile the first time you do this in your session you're going to have to log in because it's taking you to the grower 360 view in salesforce.com but then every subsequent time you go to a profile after that in that session you won't have to do that so you can see for lewis i see he's an energy feed candidate there i can see his phone number which if i touch it'll It'll allow me to call him directly from the phone. You can see the address, email if it's available. There is no current channel, so this guy's not currently buying from one channel or the other. You can see he is a targeted acquire grower for 2019 and 2020. You can see the Salesforce ID and then any quick visits that have been done already for this grower. And then you'll see a little bit more information about their farm, like their livestock that they have on hand. You can see any acres that are already mapped in the system, actual acres, how much they've bought, et cetera, et cetera. The other thing you'll see is sales history. Obviously this is a prospect, so there's no sales history. And then energy and contract information as well. So those are the things that you can look at when you go to the grower profile.